Welcome to this Windows and Computer channel and um, interesting little peek here at something that should not have been uh, out probably. So um, insiders of every ring had a build show up by accident. It's build 18947 and um, of course it's probably been removed already. But one of the things that I want to talk about is, you know, as I like to talk here from time to time about, about the future of Windows, you know, what's going to happen. We uh, now know that 19H2 is a cumulative update. It's not going to be a big update coming to September. Uh, 20H1 is the next big release, which is early next year. But one of the interesting aspects, of course, we um, don't talk a, bit, a lot of here is that there are uh, different flavors of Windows coming up. One of them called Windows Lite. And Windows Lite is a version, a stripped down version of Windows that will show up for devices that are low powered, you know, IoT devices and things like that. But it's interesting because this build that was leaked by accident is showing something that we're wondering if it's going to happen in 20H1. So this is a new start menu. As you see here, this start menu is different from the regular Windows 10 start menu. So is Microsoft working on a new experience with the start menu for everybody? One thing for sure is that a lot of people aren't happy with the start menu experience. Now, it is a much improved start menu experience when you compare it to what Windows 8 was. Uh, Windows 8 kind of surprise everybody with no start menu officially then they add Windows 8.1 with you know a kind of a start menu back uh, but the thing is when Windows 10 arrived everybody said oh it's back the start menu but they of course kind of kept a more modern look with tiles and they've tweaked it because the 2015 version of Windows 10 not that many people did enjoy it but they tweaked it and uh, basically they um, have made it, improved it. Uh, they let you customize the start menu a lot more now. But, you know, look at this picture. Look at the start menu experience we're having now. Of course, if I put tiles, I will have tiles here on my start menu. So this is what it looks like now, but this is what it looks like here. Kind of interesting. Um, I'm not sure. I don't know what you guys think about this, but I would actually be happy to have more than one style of start menu. You know, some of you are using third-party software that um, actually replace the start menu with uh, an experience that you want. A lot of you are actually using a Windows 7 or XP experience using, you know, uh, Classic Shell or, or, or Windows Blinds or stuff like that. Um, and, and maybe this could be a, a solution, but it's kind of interesting um, to see that they're tweaking and working on that. Uh, it's fun, interesting to see no tiles here. It's really like icons with, um, of course, it's a different way of still showing the start menu. Uh, but I can't say that it actually looks bad. It kind of is interesting. So we'll see. Um, is, is this going to be the future of Windows in the start menu? Uh, we're wondering, but uh, of course as we go by, and especially as we see new builds of 20H1, the version of Windows next year, I think we're going to have to uh, take a peek at some of these changes. Uh, this would probably be a big change. I mean, tweaking the start menu again, uh, kind of an interesting experience. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.